So many times in his classroom, he'd always call us either up to the front or he'd come and lean on our desks and talk to us. A lot of the times he'd leave, let the males leave first and he'd come up to us and ask us if we wanted icy poles and he'd make one female go off to go and get the icy poles. And then he'd imply us to stay behind by asking us if he wanted to cut them to open the icy poles up for us and that. And when we did leave, even if it was on a day that we didn't get icy poles or lollies or chuppa chups or anything, he would guide us out of the classroom. Sometimes he wouldn't touch us, sometimes he'd just touch your shoulder or your upper arm. Sometimes it would be your lower back on the rare occasion though, but he did do it. He would touch your lower back and guide you as you walked out of the classroom. Wasn't the only occasion he'd be like that. I mean, at swimming carnival he could have been like that, at other occasions. But even within the classroom, like he'd always make sure that you stand on like one side if he was on his left side rather than his right side. And yeah, when you approach the table, there'd always be something blocking one side, so you would have to be on the other side of him, or he'd even verbally ask you to move to that side. When you were standing there, it could have been a moment that he could have used his pen to get you. When you walked away, it could have been a moment. Nobody knows. No one, everyone could be victim.